It is 615. While some people would rather see fewer restrictions here in New Orleans in the first phase of reopening, the mayor's plan does have the support of the city council, including city council member Helena Moreno, especially on the mandatory order for wearing masks in public. We caught up with her yesterday to talk about what else she thinks is important as we move into this new phase. You are a big proponent of testing, testing, mm -hmm. testing. We can't test enough people. Yeah, and, and Eric, I really appreciate you uh, focusing on this as well because it is so important. We have to make sure that really a, every neighborhood, every community has access to the virus testing. That's why we have been putting the walk-up testing sites in all different parts of New Orleans. Eric, I would also mention that what we've noticed in the walk-up testing sites is that the positive rate is about 3 to 5% in these different sites. But what we've noticed is that um, we are having... Um, out of that pool, many of those folks are Hispanic. So, so somehow we have, you know, not done as good of a job as we should have um, when it comes to outreach to the Hispanic community. So that's something that I'm really focusing in right now, making sure that um, they've got overall the, the right information, that they know how to protect themselves, they know about these different testing sites, um, you know, and, and so that, that they understand the best ways to, to move forward through this pandemic. So I've been really um, working behind the scenes, creating this task force that's going to work on a, a regional uh, manner, really, to, to, to impact the, the Hispanic community. And, and I've talked to Council President Cynthia Lee Shang, who's gonna put a couple of folks from her office in this task force as well. So I'm excited about that and about the work that we can do to really reach um, this community and make sure that information we put out there is in Spanish as well. And how much pressure are, are, are you guys on the council and the mayor's office and I mean, because there's really no perfect decision. You're not going to make everybody happy. There are things that had to be done. People will disagree and agree on, you know, who was right and if we did it fast enough or what. But I, I mean, it's, it's got to be hard sometimes. I mean, the way that, that I'm able to sleep at night is that, um, you know, I know that the decisions that are being made are being done under the consultation of medical experts as to what is the best way to proceed to make sure that we keep the most people alive, that we save the most lives. Because, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, th this, this virus is just going to keep moving through our communities. So how do we make sure that those who are the most vulnerable don't get it? How do we lessen the spread so that you know, we don't have people ending up in ventilators and not making it out of the hospital. And I think that every step that we've taken in New Orleans, including from the very beginning, when, you know, I remember texting the mayor and saying, you know, we got to shut down these St. Patrick's Day parades. And, you know, I remember, you know, the type of criticism that we got at that point, but it was the right thing to do. So, you know, I think that every step of the way, we've just put people's lives first. And I certainly... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very sensitive to the economic impacts um, that have, you know, occurred throughout this city and state and, and the country as well. But, you know, we had to make sure that we put the right processes and procedures in place to keep people alive um, to then eventually start safely reopening our economy again. And it's, it was, you know, to me, it was, it was hard, but it wasn't necessarily a tough choice because I knew that I was putting people first, if that makes sense. And quickly, we're about out of time, but, but do you, are you optimistic at all that, you know, we're going to reach some kind of normality in, in this town, in this country, anytime soon? Yeah, well, I think we're turning the corner, but I think that, you know, we also have to prepare ourselves that this is going to kind of be lingering and around for a while. I think that, you know, we'll get through this, but it's just going to be a little bit different. You know, Eric, we'll be able to get together, but we'll be wearing masks, you know, which is a little bit different. You know, we'll, we'll be able to, to start going out to restaurants, but the restaurants are only going to be a quarter full and your, your server is going to wear a mask and probably wear gloves. And it's just, it's just going to be a little bit different for a while, but we're, 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 making, we're making those moves toward getting back to normal. And we just have to proceed very carefully. As these guidelines come out, we need people to follow them because we are walking a very narrow path right now. And one little slip and we fall right off the cliff. You know, we're still very worried about what could potentially happen in the fall with a, a possible resurgence. So we just have to keep walking very carefully. So right now, you know, as the mayor has said, we're slowly opening up that faucet, um, you know, again. But if we start seeing big spikes in numbers, we, we may need to shut it off again. So... But I do think that we are turning the corner, in my opinion. I, I feel like we are. 